we've got a great belief that we can actually win the competition and, uh, so, and go to the World Cup. Brilliant. He is an outstanding cricketer, he really is. Has he got it? Yes, he has! He's gone over long off. Slaps it over extra this time. Lovely strike, lovely sound off the bat. One of the back foot. Play all the shots, look at that. Look at the timing in that. Oh, crack. Oh, it's huge. It is massive. That's a number six. Oh, lovely placement. Really worked that into the gap. Shot to bring up his 50. And that is the most sensational half century from Stefan Myberg. Hi, I'm Stefan Myberg, South African born Dutch international cricket player. I've been blessed to play professional cricket for the last 12 years and internationally for eight years. Um, I would say my biggest achievement was uh, I've been blessed to play in two World Cups um, and basically in 2014 World Cup after the World Cup I was selected in the World Team. And when I look back now I believe it was such a big blessing and it's only made me work harder. Um, I grew up in a big family, got two sisters and a brother, all cricket players. Uh, so the love for cricket started at a very young age, four years old. Um, growing up with a brother and two sisters, we really did all the sports you can think of. I think the world tells us that we, we need money, we need cars, we need houses, um, all those fancy things. Um, but from my own experience growing up with a brother and two sisters, um, we might not have been the richest people. but. Uh, and that's why we spend our holidays at home, uh, just purely because my mom and dad had to work uh, extra hours to provide for us. Uh, you know, if that never happened, um, I might not have had the love for cricket because I got to spend my holidays with my brother and two sisters at home. And when I look back now, I believe it was such a big blessing and it's only made me work harder to achieve what I have done today. The funniest thing I always say was, um, we called it in Afrikaans Donker Rugby, which is basically playing rugby in the dark. We would play inside the house, um, close all the doors in the alley, switch off the lights, uh, which pitch dark, and then try and play rugby. Um, but it was fun, it was really fun. Up growing, growing up with, uh, with a couple of siblings, um, really special, and um, I think I was very blessed. My earliest memories in sport was uh, I basically represented the under 11 um, team at the school when I was only seven years old. Um, so I was a real youngster and there my passion already started. I only played one match that year and uh, when I was only eight years old I started as a regular player in the under 11s. Um, and when I was 10 years old I actually made my first century um, which was really massive because it wasn't really heard of back then. Um, and then my passion for cricket just just grew and grew, and uh, yeah, I just I couldn't wait for the next match to come. Uh, just love the game, love the sport, and uh, if I wasn't playing, I was supporting my brother, who um, who's also a keen cricketer. Well, growing up in a, a cricket-loving family, um, the progression I had to make um, was basically just hard work. Um, I can't, I can't say more than that, uh, basically it really just comes down to hard work. It was playing cricket, cricket over and over and over, um, but I think the passion for cricket that I had uh, and still have was, was the main reason um, I would be able to progress to reach the level I'm at right now. I would say to achieve my dream, the biggest obstacle I had was to leave the country I love so dearly uh, South Africa and family all behind. Um, I had to make a decision, uh, a decision for me to, to be able to live out a dream and that was uh, to move to the Netherlands. Um, it was a massive obstacle for me. Um, I, 
I had faith in the Lord that uh, He put it on my heart to, to play cricket and to be able to play in a Cricket World Cup. So, yeah, massive obstacle for me to leave the family behind. That was uh, n never nice. Um, and for four years, it was a big struggle. It was a big struggle sitting in the winter, ice cold, snow, um, no family around. Um, so I had to get through it. And the only thing I could do was uh, pray every night to God to give me the strength um, to keep moving forward and to one day be able to reach my dreams. And um, thanks to God, uh, he, he, he made it possible for me to play in two Cricket World Cups. To be successful, unfortunately, there's no easy way. Um, it all comes down to hard work, uh, passion, and a lot of sacrifices. You know, um, if you want to reach your dreams, um, I would say it's just up, really up to hard work. My final message would be um, a quote I heard from Benjamin Franklin: um, "Good is not good enough." if better is possible. So basically it's always to strive for your best. Never be happy with just being good. Strive to be the best in whatever sport you do and whatever thing you do. Um, and then obviously um, what I believe um, is that all things are possible through Christ who strengthens you. So remember that.